Hey y'all, it's Krista. So um, I'm in for the super close up right now because um, I'm just doing little X's and O's. I've already done five of them and they're sitting on the table over here. I mean, my table is covered in X's and O's and I've got uh, three more sitting over here. So I'm gonna run through these colors real fast um, one of the bases is an Amsterdam titanium white, and the other base is in the Amsterdam, uh, sky blue light. And then my colors on the blue background, I have folk arts color shift and the white flash. And that's the blue one, right? And then I'm using uh, Color Arts Antique Silver. It's just a little sample one. It's the only silver that I had. And I'm using TLP's Ore. And then on the white one, I'm using the Ore, the Antique Silver, and Frost so that all the pieces go together. For my cell accelerator, I'm using Oxide Black. And um, so we are going to get started. I found in the last five that I did, I made quite a mess. And I did it in one of those big plastic tubs and I spun it out and whatever, so that you know I had my nice clean space so um, the O's I am doing, and of course, everything is mixed with mix. Um, I like to be able to torch. If I can't torch, then it just drives me crazy sitting there poking at it with a skewer until all the bubbles are gone. So let's start with the O. And I'm just gonna kind of flood my O here a little bit. And in the first five, I also found, let me spin that out a little bit. In the first five, I found that um, the sides weren't covering really well. So I think what I'm gonna do is um, when they're dry, I'll go back and I will uh, paint the outsides, um, just the regular sky blue light color. And then of course I'm gonna resin them. This project is for my grandchildren. They love tic-tac-toe and I thought it would be fun for them. So I'm gonna to torch my base because I can. And this is totally inspired by Sarah Max. Sarah did one uh, using house paint. Um, I don't know, a few weeks ago maybe a month ago, and uh, when I was up at Hobby Lobby, I saw the actual tic-tac-toe board, and I was like, well, how cute is that? The grandbabies would love that. So here we are. All right, so I'm gonna start with the antique silver, and I'm doing them differently than what I already have and I'm doing that on purpose. So we're gonna swirl this around this way because I want them all to kind of be different. And then I'm gonna use the white flash. It's my unicorn in a bottle, y'all. I love this stuff. And then I'll use the gold or the ore this is the TLP ore. Okay. And then I've got my little swiping tools over here. I've got two different ones because, well, you'll see. I may have to use this one, I may not, but I have it just in case. Uh, okay. Got my oxide black here. And 
I'm going to coat the back and kind of tip off. And I'm going to start over here and I don't have a paper towel ready. Of course I don't. Why would I have a paper towel ready? That would totally make sense to have that a thing. Because I need to wipe off my swipey tool. All right, and then I'll coat it again. And we'll go from the opposite direction and bring the two together. Move that out of the way before I make a disaster. I could see that happening. And I'll just swipe it out this way. Okay. So I'm waiting for this to open up. slowly but surely, but it's doing it. But while it's doing it, I'm gonna, I see bubbles popping up, so I'm gonna torch them while I can. Okay, and then we're gonna spin this out. And then I think I'm going to pick it up and do the official tilt so that it goes in a little bit and open up those cells. Okay. All right, so we're gonna call that one done. And I'm going to set it on my cups over here and you know what's funny, I was watching uh, Shelly Carruthers the other night and it was her using mix against um, Liquitex pouring medium and the dried results came out today and uh, she had rave reviews, so that made me super happy. All right, but she is as OCD about being clean as I am. And I was laughing at her live because it's just silly. That's crazy OCD women, right? All right, since, since I have, and I taped the back of these, so I'm just gonna slap it right on top. All right, we're gonna do the other O, and then we'll go into the X's. Okay, I just have a little bit left over of the blue, no big deal. Spin that out a little bit. And I'm gonna have to fix that because I didn't go over the edge here. Okay. And we're gonna do it again. I'm going to start with the gold this time. And you know what? I'm looking at that other one going, you know what? Yeah, I'll start with the gold this time. And I'm gonna kinda do that at, and then I'll just do a little swipey across here Okay, and then I'm going to use the white flash. We'll just do that. And the same over here. And then we'll use that antique silver. And run that through. Not so much as last time because it's kind of a powerful color. All right, so we'll do that. Then I'll get my little swipey tool back and we will coat the back of it. And I think 
I'll do this one first this time. Okay. And then we'll coat again. And I scrape that off too. I kind of tilt it and scrape it. And then we'll come through here. Okay. Wait for that all to come back. I'm gonna spin it out a little bit. Open up those cells. They're gorgeous. You know what? Done. I'm picking this up and moving it. Okay. White flash. Love that stuff. All right, we'll set this one over here. Scooch my cups in a little bit. Okay. And I'm gonna wipe my hands off again so I'm not mixing up colors. And then because I'm starting to pool here, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit so that I'm not sticking my white into the blue. This Lola Vefi mat has changed my life. It is so cool. It is super easy to clean. When it's dry, you just peel it off in one big swipe. Totally awesome. All right, we're just gonna do that again. Get some of that paint up. And then we'll put an X on here. Okay, I'm a hot mess. I'm trying to continue using the same gloves without mixing up my colors. Okay, so now we have the X, and that one's going to be base color of white. And I'm just basically putting it in an X making sure I have enough to do my next one. All right, I'm gonna spin that out. Oh, I'm starting to fall over here. I'm dripping. If y'all remember what happens when you do that, Becky can tell you what a mess we made. Okay, so I'm gonna torch these bubbles. these sides with my stick. Just make sure they're covered so that the awesome bloominess falls over the side. Okay. Not that you're going to see it because, you know, I noticed that it wasn't really sticking because each of these has kind of a layer on it, and when I primed it, it did not, real. it kind of soaked in, and it's soaking in the paint as well, so that's why I'm gonna paint them the solid color. Okay, so this time, we're going to use the blue. But, I think I'm going to start with the frost, and we will do this and a little one across here and maybe a little one down here, okay? And then I'm gonna do, you know what? I think I want the lines a little thicker of the blue because this frost is really pretty, y'all. Super shimmery. And this is using Mina's Tipsy Piggy recipe. 
with the alcohol and it's just lovely. And then I'll use a silver, but I'm gonna let it drip off before I do it because I want it to be kind of thin. And I'm just gonna just let it keep dripping until you see that it's almost gone and then you can slide it across. And that's how you keep it thin. Keep it just a little thin streamline. And then I will use the ore. The ore is super pretty too. And come across here, okay? And we'll go back to our swipiness, our royal swipiness. I'll put that on here. And I think I'll start with this one. And we'll just do that. And then we will do it again. Swiping is my favorite. You know, my, my last video, I, I blew it out. And guess what? I found out that I'm not a pro at that. There are pros and I am not one of them. I try my best, but swiping just seems to be my thing. You know how we all have our thing? That's mine when it comes to blooms. Swiping just lets you run free. All right, and then we'll do here. Wipe that off. And I see that it's trying to run off the board here, so I'm going to try to bring it back and then down. Okay. Let's see, I need to do it right there, so I'm going to take this, this one right here, and I'm just going to run it right here and be done. But I'm going to have to blow that one because I didn't get a very good swipe on it. All right, it's opening up. All right, I'm going to give this a quick spin. And I'm going to stop it from going all over the place. All right, then I'm gonna pick this one up so that I can stretch it with my hands. Because I want to bring it back this way. Try to open these cells up without losing awesomeness. I'll bring it down this way a little bit. And then bring it back this way. So we're gonna do a little walk. And we're gonna call this one done. So I'm going to set this one right here. And let it drip. And of course I'll come back after I turn off the video and catch my drips and all the things. That's what I have been doing all afternoon is going around and, you know, because if you're not checking and making sure that you're catching your drips, um, it could literally pull your painting off of whatever you're pouring onto. It'll just stretch it right off. So make sure that you babysit it. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but I can't, I can't emphasize it enough to babysit. Okay, so this is our last X and I'm going to use the last of my white paint on this. Because there's nine pieces, um, I decided to do five 
X's and in the white and four O's in the blue because where this is going, um, obviously I know the inside of the house because it's going to my grandbabies, but um, she's, she's one of those very white, clean, uh, everything needs to be in place and you know what? I don't know how she does that with twins and um, an eight-year-old daughter. I don't know how she does it. She's crazy. So kudos to you, girl. All right, so this time, I think I'm gonna start with the gold and I think I'm going to do that with a little bit of swooshy there and a little bit of swooshy there, okay? And then I will use the blue. No, I'm gonna use, I keep calling it blue, but it's really frost. And I just want a thin line of this again too. So I'm just gonna let it drip off and then pull it through and drip off and pull it through. Okay, and then I will put the frost on top of that. Bring all those colors together. I tend to use frost a lot. I really think it's a beautiful color and I'm kind of partial to blues especially when they're light. And we'll pull that through here. Okay. And then we will go back to our cell accelerator and coat the back. Okay. And I think we'll start with this one right here. I totally just pulled that right into my cell accelerator. What am I doing? Get out. I'm saving it. You know, this Aussie flow trawl, it's expensive stuff. So I don't wanna let anything happen to it. It's like gold around here. Okay, set that aside so that doesn't happen again. And we'll do up here. And coat the back one more, t well, two more times. It's gonna take me two more times. So I'll start here. And that. And one more time, we'll combine those two together. And we'll start here and pull that down. Okay. Let's see what that's gonna do. Yeah, I'm not mad at that either. Nine down, none to go. Ah, oh, the grandbabies are worth it. They'll love it. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on my black gold over here. And we will spin this out a little bit. I don't wanna spin it too hard because all I'm trying to do when I'm spinning it is open up the cells, but I can do that by hand tilting. And that's where I'm going next. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to tilt. Try 
trying to open up these cells. Okay, I'm gonna bring that back because these cells are opening up beautifully. And then we'll bring it back this way and then bring it down. Okay. I don't want to tilt it. I'm trying to get that black off, but I don't want to tilt it too much to make that happen. It may be what it is. Okay. I'm going to leave this alone, y'all. Let me bring it back a little bit. All right, and I will set this over here. Okay, not too bad of a cleanup. All right, let me take my gloves off. And we will come in for the close-up. All right, let me come get you. Okay, we will start with my ones earlier. Here, let me... Pull you in a little bit. Whew. Okay. Let me get my tripod out of the way so I can get a better angle. Okay. This is one I did earlier. And it's starting to dry on the edges. And here's another one I did earlier. Nice action. And then here's another one that I did earlier. And another one. This light, y'all. Oh, is there a hair in there? Oh, I totally gotta get that. Okay, this is one that I just did. See how the cells are popping out there? Hopefully they'll do what it did over here because it did it over here too. And then we've got the rest, of, see they're popping up over here too. That's one that I just did. And this is one that I just did. I think this is the first one that I did. And this one was done earlier. And this one is new. I think it's gonna look great in their house. See how I was trying to have that open? It's totally opening now. So sometimes it's just better to leave it alone and it will open up and sell up on its own. All right, y'all, there's all nine. And uh, I hope y'all have a wonderful day and I will see y'all soon. And I will definitely take a picture of this when it's all resined and put it up in the community tab. Have a wonderful day, y'all. Bye.